A component for a machine tool appears layer for layer, printed in plastic. Hagenkasten Chorn is a pioneer in this area. He spent the past 25 years working with 3D printing technology. It can reproduce the most complex shapes and structures. Chorn says 3D printing is only just getting started. He believes its development will revolutionize the working world. One day, designers won't need to know about conventional manufacturing procedures. They'll just know which component they want to design, and 3D printing will then implement that one-to-one. -one. Designers won't have to think, can it be milled, can it be made with an injection mold? All they'll need to focus on is the function of the actual component. A vision of the future that his team is already living. Here, they're printing individual components of a diving torch. Manufacturing them through printing ensures they're absolutely watertight and ideally suited for the job. But only a small number of torches are being produced. When it comes to the large-scale series production used in the automotive industry or in aircraft construction, things aren't so easy. In major industries, it's quite a long process getting new materials approved. The materials used for injection molds or other conventional forms of manufacturing can't always be used in the same way for 3D printing. As a result, the new technology has been slow to catch on in industry. German industrial giant Siemens has made some progress. These gas turbines are destined for Bangladesh, where they'll be used for producing electricity. The combustors in the turbines contain nozzles that can wear out, and so they need to be replaced from time to time. Siemens now uses 3D printing to produce these parts, helping to save time. This additive manufacturing, as it's known, has long since passed the trial stage at Siemens. Inside the printing machine, a laser cuts the parts out of the production material. This allows complex shapes to be produced easily. They actually make the nozzles work more efficiently. But for larger spare parts, this method is problematic. I don't believe that we could produce the housing for the gas turbines, for example, in a cost-effective way using 3D printing. They are made of cast iron and weigh around 50 tons. Not with the way the technology is today, anyway. At the moment, 3D printing is limited to components of maybe 500 millimeters by 500 millimeters by 500 millimeters. In large-scale factories, this innovative technology soon reaches its limits. When manufacturing these turbines, employees still operate the drilling and cutting machines. So 3D printing is at least not turning the working world on its head overnight. The high production costs are a problem. Hagen Kosten Schorn believes it'll take another 10 to 15 years for the technology to really break through in industry. The problem is that a printing machine like this one costs the same as a medium-sized house. So about 200 to 250,000 euros, and every kilo of this material costs around 400 euros. That makes components that are a bit larger much more expensive, Material for conventional injection molding costs about two to four euros a kilo. But business is growing rapidly. The 3D printing industry is currently worth five billion euros worldwide. That figure is forecast to quadruple by 2020.